come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Ut que ant laxis resonare fibris mira gestorum amolitorum solve poluti labire atum sancte Elizabeth, the wife of Zechariah, gave birth to a great man, John the Baptist, who prepared the way for the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Elizabeth, the wife of Zechariah, gave, gave birth to a great man, John the Baptist, who prepared the way for the Lord. John, the forerunner of the Lord, was born of an old and childless couple. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. John, the, the forerunner, forerunner of, of the Lord, was born of an old and childless couple. There is no man born of woman greater than John the Baptist. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him 
before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. There is no man born of woman greater, greater than, than John, John the Baptist. Baptist. According to his promise, God has brought forth from David's descendants, Jesus, a Savior for Israel. John heralded the coming of Jesus by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. As John's career was coming to an end, he would say, what you suppose me to be, I am not. Rather, look for one who comes after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. He who is to come after me existed before me. Make straight his paths. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Zechariah entered the temple of the Come to the help of his servant Israel. 
for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zechariah entered the temple of the And the angel Gabriel appeared to him, standing on the right of the altar of incense. Let us pray joyfully to God our Father, who called John the Baptist to proclaim the coming of the kingdom of Christ. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. You called John the Baptist from his mother's womb to prepare the way of your son. Help us to follow in that path which the Baptist opened before the Lord Jesus. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. May your church, in imitation of the Baptist, fearlessly point out the Lamb of God, so that people in every age may acknowledge that the Lord comes to them. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. John the Baptist did not exalt himself, but acknowledged his role as forerunner of the Christ. Teach us to acknowledge that you are the giver of all our good gifts, and that we must use them in your service. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. You call John the Baptist to give testimony to you by his life and even by his death. Help us to imitate his unceasing witness to your truth. O Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Remember those who have died. Give them a place of light, happiness, and peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, you raised up John the Baptist to prepare a perfect people for Christ the Lord. Give your church joy in spirit and guide those who believe in you into the way of salvation and peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. From my mother's womb, the Lord called me by my name, and he made my mouth like unto a sharp sword. He protected me in the shadow of his hand, and 
and he made me as his chosen.